Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. 2-4 two four for 2-4. Two four. Uh, the Drunk Poker Root is beer time. In what has become a, an annual tradition, I make the trek out to Niagara on the Lake early in January or mid-January, and this time really early because I just felt like getting out of the house today. I haven't really done much. Um, and I make a visit to Oast House Brewers. Now, Oast House Brewers, if you've ever been there, it's the big red barn on Stone Road. Um, they have a lot of stuff in cans, uh, stuff on tap, and get stuff in growlers. Well known for their strawberry rhubarb ale, the one I love that kicks off summer. It's the official summer kickoff. But I always go out there at this time of the year for three specific beers. Because I think that these should be bucket list beers for you to try. Uh, I'm dead serious. These three represent the best of Oast Toast year-round. We have the Beer du Noel, the Beer de Garde, and one of the best Saisons I've ever had in my life. Now, these three beers ran the range in price about 13, 13 bucks or so, 750 mil bottles. We're going to start with the Beer de Noel because i got to take down the tree and, you know, Santa Claus and whatnot, 7.5% winter warmer, spends a little bit of time in whiskey barrels like six months. I, I, I've been going out to Oast House for as long as I've been making videos, so nine years now I've been going out there, I think 2016. 16? Yeah, 16. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Nine years I've been making videos. This is my ninth year we're starting. Um, and there is something about these beers that just absolutely blows my mind. I've had this glass for nine years. That's another crazy part. The corks, this was uh, bottled in 2018. I think last year's was too. I only buy one of each. I will go back to Oast House again. Not like I don't go there more, but just, just something about making them one of the first stops of twenty of the year. With the these three particular beers, I always try to like to get a decent pop. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes there's not enough pressure. Boo! <laughs> oh, well. It's not that much pressure. It's a different type. It's not champagne. <laughs> I absolutely adore what these beers bring. Now, like, yeah, they've got stuff in cans. They've got the Chestnut Porter. They've got Farmer's Tan West Coast IPA. They've got their, their Oast House Pale Ale. Nice beers. Nice beers. No, nothing against them, and I buy them. But this specific time when I go, I buy these three specific beers. So let's get into it. Cheers. So I brought this home and I let it sit down here in the basement for a bit to warm up. And I'm so glad I did because I don't often make the mistake of pulling them right out of the fridge and drinking them. And with the Saison, that's fine. But with the other two, you want to let them warm up a little bit. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, dark fruit plum raisin, that kind of date. Um, definitely getting a bit of spice in there, some cinnamon, some nutmeg. There's a nice rounded kind of warmth from the from the bourbon whiskey. Um, you're, you're a little bit of chocolate, vanilla. It's gorgeous. It's just, it, it's a beautiful winter warmer. It's 7.5%. It's not ridiculously huge. It's a 750 ml bottle, mind you. So this ain't like, you know, a shorty can of beer here. But it, it's just, I guess it's a bit of nostalgia mixed with an appreciation th that I have even more when I have this beer every year. But I mean, when I look back and see the shadows of what was and what was to become, I wonder if I can ever capture that kind of genuine joy that I had when I discovered, you know, this kind of beer and when I started writing about beer, which I don't really do that much anymore, barely at all. Um, you know, little words on Instagram is not writing about beer. Uh, it, 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 it is. It's, it's enough. But, the, you know, can I find that kind of... Because there is. There is that shadow of joy and, 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 and discovery and what is happening here this is so amazing and oast house really does that for me so i just that's why i thought today i'm gonna go i wanted to give them a thank you and a shout out for nine years of just delivering every time i go i get you know these three beers and every time i love them and i'm like boy i should buy more but i want to keep there's a special relationship i'll buy the saison and the beer to guard all year when this comes back i always get it these i'll pick up as i go every time throughout the year to get a growler or something but yeah, there, there is that, and I don't know if anybody else has that, if you've been around the, the scene long enough, that there is a nostalgia for when everything seemed possible and we didn't know a goddamn thing, not that we know much more now, but you weren't inside. You were outside looking at how wonderful it was, and, and there, were, there, there was no warts or anything at that point. So, But yeah, Oast House is a, 
I think you need to go if you haven't been. And Niagara Lake's a great place. You like wine. There's whiskey. Everything. There's tons of breweries out there. Wineries like mad. Um, there's even a couple distilleries. So there you go, my friends. Cheers to beer to Noel. And my annual Oast House week because it'll just be these this week. That's going to be awesome. Let's go. Cheers. It's so good. It just it captures and I can feel the moment in my head and I can, I can touch that shadow, however briefly. <laughs> 